Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now Cyberpunk 2077 has received a new update version 2.21. It's basically a DLSS update and we don't need a fancy new high-end graphics card in order to make use of it. So I'm actually using an RTX 3050 today, the original 8GB card, better than the 6GB GPU. And I think they're still okay providing you do implement upscaling such as DLSS in some of the more demanding titles out there. So if we look at the resolution scaling option, we'll blast through the settings quickly, everything on high, all of this stuff off, film grain, chromatic aberration, depth of field, lens flare, motion blur, all off, it's all horrible in my opinion, but uh, <laughs> that's a rant for another day. Resolution scaling, DLSS super resolution. Now what you see here is when you highlight this, you're going to get a little bit of text that says, uh, sorry, I'm on the wrong thing. Yeah, so we've got two, we've got transformer model, and we've got convolutional neural network. Sounds very fancy, very scientific. Not entirely sure what both of these mean, if I'm 100% honest, honest with you. But uh, we'll read a little bit of the text here. The new DLSS transformer model offers more image stability, less ghosting, and improved anti-aliasing in comparison with the original DLSS convolutional neural network model. Confirmation required. So basically, this is the old style DLSS convolutional neural network. We're going to hit apply. Actually, no, we won't. We'll leave them both off for now. I'll give you a quick taste of how Cyberpunk 2077 performs at native res. It does okay in 2025, early 2025 now. You're going to see about 45 to 60 frames per second most of the time, even in the busier areas of Night City. Let's try not to draw any attention. That did not work at all. So you've seen performance at native res. We'll just end the benchmark. Mate, what are you doing? Honestly, I'm trying to run a benchmark channel here. You, you're just getting in my way a bit, aren't you? But now we'll go back into the options menu. We'll get rid of the overlay. Go back to the graphics option. Resolution scaling, we'll select DLSS. And we'll start with convolutional neural network, the old style uh, DLSS here. Quality mode is also enabled. We've got DLAA. Quality, balanced, performance, ultra performance, dynamic res and auto, but we're going to go with quality. Let's take a quick look at how things improve. So as you can see, we've gone from roughly 60 frames per second a lot of the time to just below 80, about 70 to 80 frames per second. And in my opinion, this convolutional neural network DLSS still looks pretty good of course it does a uh, quality mode especially still absolutely fine there are a few dips and drops below 60 frames per second as you can see here but let's jump back into the menu and see what's changed so back in the settings now we're going to switch to transformer model hit apply keep the same quality preset jump back into the game and on the 3050 here you will notice a bit of a drop to the performance, at least I did. We've gone from about 70 to 80 to more frequent drops below 70 FPS. But what I will say is that this new DLSS model does look a lot sharper. The same quality mode actually looks a lot better with this enabled as opposed to the CNN mode enabled, I have to admit. So we're just gonna pull up here nice and neatly. Excellent parking job if I do say so myself, <laughs> absolutely terrible. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a couple of close-ups for you here because the quality mode in transformer model looks better than it does in convolutional neural network, right? So we could probably get away with using a more aggressive preset such as balanced or even performance and get very similar image quality as we would with convolutional neural network. At least that's something I seem to have noticed with the 3050 here. Okay, so this is the original CNN mode with the quality preset enabled. As you can see, things still look pretty sharp, pretty decent at 1080p, getting 86 FPS here. If we jump into the settings, we won't change anything else. We won't even move the mouse before we do so. Change to transformer model, the new version, remain with the quality preset, and you can see that our frame rate has dropped to slightly below 80 FPS. We've lost about five to six frames per second, but this does look a little sharper. And this actually gives us a bit more wiggle room in terms of choosing a DLSS preset. It gives us a little more to play with because the more aggressive presets do tend to still look sharper with transformer model um, as opposed to the old CNN model. So now if I choose 
balance mode let's go with balanced yeah the frame rate that we lost has been made up again we're back up to 86 87 fps and yet the image quality in my opinion from what i'm seeing looks just as good if not a little sharper than it did with cnn mode beforehand i hope i'm not talking absolute rubbish i hope there is some justification uh, behind my claims but then again my eyesight has never been brilliant but uh I'll just drop things to ultra performance now with the transformer model and DLSS super resolution to see what sort of performance we can expect. Okay, so we can notice a slightly softer image now, but just look at that frame rate over 120 FPS. It's still going to be slightly less than with the old CNN model um, with the equivalent preset, of course. But honestly, this doesn't look too bad at all, especially if we were to implement some form of sharpening. So yeah, I mean, okay, right, there is a little bit of um, sort of shimmering around certain aspects of the game, like those poles up there, things are flickering, but I think ultra performance mode is totally unnecessary for a card like this. I actually think that we could choose performance and we've got a really nice balance between visual quality and the frame rate here. If we jump back in, in fact, turn the sharpness up to three, yeah, that's actually really nice now. That's a good place to be. But I thought I'd just let you know that this update is out and available. You don't have to have a brand new Fancy 50 series card in order to make use of it. It's just implemented or baked straight into the new Cyberpunk 2.21 update. And uh, if you've got an NVIDIA card, I recommend giving it a try. And if you do, let me know in the comments how it's worked out for you. But that's all for this one. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.